welcome back to Drawing for Kids. To start off, let's go over what material you'll need. You'll need some Crayola markers, which you can use any color markers that you like. Next, you also need some paper. In addition to that, you'll need some black markers, such as Sharpies. Okay, so as I'm going along, I'll go step by step on how to draw this character, but I really like to invite you to add your own little twist to it to make it your own. There's no pressure to necessarily draw exactly what I have, but let's use that as a guidance to see what we can come up with. As always, remember to add in a little bit of your imagination to make it your own. You can do this drawing with your family and friends, and at the end of it, maybe check out how everybody's drawing turn out at the very end. Are you ready? So we're going to get started. Starting with a blank piece of paper and our black marker. We're going to be doing the eager elephant. I feel like I haven't done an elephant in a while and it's one of my favorite animals. So why don't you join me today in drawing an elephant? First, we're going to start with drawing the elephant's face. We're going to draw two eyes, so two circles, side by side. Next, I'm going to draw the pupils or the inside of the eye, so a dot for each one. Next, I'm going to do the elephant's nose. And we know our elephant has a really long nose, so there's a U shape here and another bigger U around it. And then, of course, let's top off the nose with a little bit of a kind of like a heart, uh, but not pointed at the end. We'll draw a half circle on the top for the top of the elephant's head, and now we'll do the years. Of course, one on each side. Here's the first one, and I'm going to create a little bit of half circles here. And then let's work on the other year. There's the other one. Of course, you can have really big elephant years or you can have really small years, up to you. Uh, now I'm going to do the body of the elephant, and I want a big round body. So it's like a big leather C, and then on the other side as well. And I'm thinking we should add some tusk for the elephant. So here's the tusk on one side. This is like pointed, like a V at the end. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side as well. You can see that our elephant's coming along nicely. Of course, we also need to add some legs for an elephant. So our elephant is going to have four legs so let's start by doing the tail first so here is my squiggly tail you can have a really long tail for your elephant if you want as well so i'm just rounding out the circle at the end here leaving two spaces for the legs so here's the first one i'll show you how to do it slowly so one line down and another line parallel next to it and i'm just going to connect the bottom with a line that's perpendicular so there's two legs and then I'm going to draw in their back leg with a line like so, and then one across. So there you go. Of course, I'm going to draw some tiny toes for him, like a McDonald M at the end. And there's the elephant. Isn't he cute? Okay, now I'm going to make sure I draw in some details related to the story. Like I mentioned, I really love to tell a story with each of my drawings because I think that it makes a drawing really unique and really you. So this elephant is playing with water, so I'm going to have some water drops come out as well. It's been a really hot summer and I think that it will be nice for this elephant to enjoy some water play. So it's up to you how you would like to tell the story for your elephant. Maybe your elephant's at a circus and practicing being um, walking on a ball or maybe your elephant is at the beach and playing with a beach ball so I'm just thinking of some um, ideas that you can generate and think about how to make your elephant unique and your own and at the end of this drawing we'll each have like a different air elephant and you can share your story of your elephant with your friends and family of course one of the parts of drawing um, it's also the process of coloring that makes it really fun because you can use all types of different colors and different types of color combination. So you can choose to do a polka dot elephant if you want or a stripey elephant or maybe your elephant can have a tattoo of maybe their favorite food which could be a strawberry if you like. Here I'm just going to draw a tiny pail on the floor 
to kind of show where the water is coming from. The elephant is playing for, with a bucket of water. And for that bucket, I'm going to add some stripes to it to make it look interesting and a little bit different, a little bit more fun. Of course, you can have a bucket or you can have a pond or a lake um, that your elephant can be drawing water from. Here, I'm using my black marker to outline the bucket. So you can clearly see it's a beautiful stripey bucket and I'll color in some watercolor inside the bucket as well. Now that I've colored in this elephant that is playing with water, I'm now going to use this pink to color in my elephant. Like I mentioned before, try to make your elephant a little bit unique and have maybe you can consider a pattern you like. For me, I could consider, let's say, doing polka dots. Have you seen a pink polka dot elephant. I don't think I've seen one lately, but I will see one at the end of this drawing maybe. Hmm, let's see. So I'm gonna paint in some, draw in some polka dots with my marker, but now that I think about it, mm, I don't feel like I'm a polka dot fan. So I'm gonna just color in my elephant pink. And the great thing about coloring your markers is that like, and also drawing, <laughs> is not necessarily you have to be um, committed to just doing the drawing how you would like or imagine in the beginning. So for example, I wanna do polka dots, but at the end I changed my mind. It's okay to change your mind. I think it's perfectly fine to enjoy one thing um, one day and the next day you'd be like, I kind of no longer like the color blue as much. I like red. I think it's nice to have, keep an open mind and like be open to different colors and styles. So here I'm coloring my elephant pink. I think has gives a totally different vibe compared to the polka dot elephant I had before. If you want, you can have a rainbow elephant and a, or you can have an elephant with different colors for different parts of the body. Like you could be wearing giant red shoes or maybe it has like a scarf on him or maybe the trunk is rainbow color. So there's many different ways to color in this elephant and make it really fun and really your own. And on top of that, this is a good time to think about what is the story that you're trying to tell with your drawing. Maybe this will help you think of ideas of what to draw for the background. So I gave you some ideas of background before. Um, other ideas I want to introduce is if you want to have a nature theme, so they could be in a park or in a jungle. You can introduce other characters in the drawing. Let's say if the elephant is hanging out in the jungle, there are monkeys hanging around playing with the elephants, so they can do that as well. So sky's the limit. Think about how you want to personalize your drawing. Well, here I think I'm almost wrapped up coloring in my pink elephant. I think this looks really cute because I'm just trying to imagine if I see a re real pink elephant in real life, how excited I would be. Because I don't think I've seen a pink elephant ever before. Elephants are really friendly animal, except I guess if they are, feel like they are um, under attack or like they're trying to protect their young, but otherwise they're pretty friendly. They're like big friendly giants. Have you seen an elephant in real life before? If so, have you seen one in a pink color? Well, I hope you enjoy the process so far. I think to wrap up, I'm just going to add a tiny accessory for my elephant, like a hat. Because I think my elephant is having such a good time playing with water, if they, he has to have a party hat. So I'm going to do a polka dotted party hat on top for him. And I think that really nicely sums up the drawing. Thank you so much uh, for joining me on this drawing for kids for this elephant drawing. If you have other ideas for Adler animals you'd like me to draw in the future, feel free to leave in comments below. Otherwise, I'll see you next time in another drawing for kids. Take care and stay creative everyone. Bye for now.